The sixth round of the FAA Formula E Championship had the series return to the French capital. The streets of the 7th arrondissement provided a real challenge to the drivers and plenty of action. So let's have an in-depth look at the 2017 Qatar Airways Paris E-Prix. Let's begin with the start and in particular Nick Heidfeld. The German may have just turned 40, but that experience is really paying off when the lights go out. In Hong Kong, he started 10th on the grid in the second white and red Mahindra car, but by going around the outside at the first corner, he moved all the way up into 6th place. In Mexico City, he started 4th on the grid and stole 3rd place at the first corner. In Monaco, he used the same round the outside routine to jump from 8th at the start to 5th at the exit of saint devot And now finally in Paris, once again, Heidfeld pulled out his party piece. He started 5th but moved up to fourth at the first corner. While Buemi disappeared up at the front, the real loser from Paris in terms of the championship was Lucas de Grassi. The Brazilian struggled for grip in qualifying and could only manage 13th. And while his initial start was OK and he held position, coming through turns three and four on the opening lap, de Grassi at the back of the shot comes in very wide, losing a place. At this point, he's still ahead of Tom Dillman, but a few corners later, the Venturi car is ahead. This dropped de Grassi down to 15th place. On lap 13, he was trying to pass Dillman, but that left the door open for Antonio Felix da Costa to launch his Andretti up the inside and drop De Grassi back yet another position. The frustration must have been starting to build as De Grassi tried to get past on a number of occasions, but it came to a head on lap 18. I can't overtake. De Grassi got alongside da Costa into the braking zone, but opted to go for the apex with the Portuguese driver still there. The result was inevitable. De Costa was out of the race and De Grassi's race was effectively ruined, a disaster for his championship hopes. You can see from De Grassi's onboard how much earlier he turns into the corner compared to the Venturi in front, leaving De Costa with no room at all. That crash brought out a full course yellow on lap 21, bringing everyone into the pits. It was only a few laps earlier than the scheduled pit stops, so it was a no-brainer to change cars under the full course yellow. De Grassi actually emerged ahead of some of his rivals, but the Brazilian was under the minimum pit stop time and would later receive a penalty. Look as we have a drive-through penalty, drive-through penalty, let's do it now. One team who gambled on the crash was Dragon, but on neither occasion did it work out. First, Jerome D'Ambrosio. He was running 11th when the crash happened and seven seconds later was in the pits. It was an almost identical gamble to the one they and Jaguar tried in Monaco. Had the Qualcomm safety car been deployed, it may have worked, but they pitted while everyone else was going at full racing speed, and then a full course yellow was called as everyone else was making their pit stop, so D'Ambrosio lost a lot of time. Meanwhile, Dragon went the other way with Mike Conway, who before the pit stops had been 12th. They kept the Englishman out and he led the race for a few laps, but soon had to make his pit stop and dropped well down the order. So once the full course yellow was over, it was Buemi still leading the race, but a very confident Jean-Eric Verne closing him down. That was until lap 34, when the Tachita car was in the wall. The suspicions were that there was a problem with the steering rack, but watch the wheels on this onboard. You see them turn left, then while Jeff is still turning the wheel left, they just snap straight ahead. It was race over for the Parisian. The safety car was deployed, and then again later for Lucas de Grassi's crash while trying to set the fastest lap. The strangest moment of all came after Buemi had taken the chequered flag. Daniel Apt was running in seventh place, the race was effectively over, but then his car let him down. The German was stranded on the circuit, but because they were under safety car conditions, no one could overtake him until he finally came to a complete stop. The big winner in the confusion was Robin Flanks, who'd been given a five-second time penalty for speeding under full course yellow. The Dutchman was running fifth, but because the field had closed up behind the safety car, it was likely he would end up outside the points. But at breaking down meant that his five-second time penalty only cost him one place. And in another stroke of fortune, his gearbox had broken the lap the safety car came out. But he was able to limp round to the end. So a good bit of luck for Robin Flanks. But it was a commanding victory for Buemi in an action-packed Qatar Airways Paris E Prix. Verne claims he could have battled the Renault driver, but that fight never materialised thanks to Verne's accident. And Buemi made it two wins in a row and extended his lead at the top of the championship.